Hello everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back. All right, so I wanna share a few more dreams with you guys and I'm, this is about one page. So I'm gonna read off my notes. All right, so I titled this, The List. On the night of November 20th, 2020, I felt, heard uh, a familiar thumping in my head. I often feel it, my right side, right about here. And uh, I also felt something on my left side. Can't put, pinpoint where, but it's, um, oh, it was, uh, it was in my, in my head. So I can't point, pinpoint like exactly where, but it sounded like someone was chiseling away at something inside my head, like chiseling away at, uh, at rock. So as I was dreaming, I remember thinking within the dream, that's odd, that's new, that's not happened, or that's not how I'm supposed to come out of my skull. So intuitively, like in the dream, as I was experiencing this, I thought that's not how I'm supposed to come out of my skull, are referring to what Neville talks about in his lectures about uh, being born from above. So anyway, within the dream, there were a couple of times where I bumped into something and whatever part of my body was touched, it vibrated. So my shoulder, my elbow, etc. Then I found myself in a room watching a woman carefully cut two squares uh, uh, out of paper uh, with a cutting machine. So one of those square cutting machines that has a handle that comes down. So she stacked the two squares of paper on top of each other Turn the piece around to cut each side to make them even. And then when she got to the fourth side, she cut it again, but she made a slight mistake. And then she separated the two pieces of paper. Um, but now instead of squares, they look like strips of paper. Uh, these two stacks of strips of paper. One of the stacks of the strips of paper was uh, really curved and it didn't match the other stack at all and then I saw the face of a girl younger sitting at a table and then intuitively knew that the papers were, uh, were for her these stacks of paper were for her to use for a game you know to play with and I also had the sense that something may have been wrong with with the girl, like mentally, uh, maybe a mental illness of some sort. So in the next dream, I was in a home and I was there for what looked like a holiday dinner. There was music playing and then someone mentioned that a few items were needed from the store. And when I offered to go, someone handed me a list on two pieces of paper. And then someone else said, hey, these ingredients are the words to this song. Then I woke up. I woke up, it was about 2.40 a.m. So I contemplated writing the dreams down, but I went back to sleep instead. Then I was woken up by the sound of a bell at 5.30 a.m. And when I opened my eyes, I saw uh, a pattern like all over the walls it was a black pattern and I've had that experience a few times before this time the pattern was geometric in shape but it didn't last very long uh, so I can't say for sure exactly what the shape was um, but as this was happening I thought about the dreams from the night that I had had and I tried to remember what I was dreaming about right before I woke up because I was dreaming about something. And I kept thinking, as I was thinking about the dream I had right before I woke up and trying to remember it, this memory was coming back and I kept thinking of a dream I had had previously about being on the back dock or the, uh, 
back area of a grocery store. So I don't know why that came to mind. All right, now, as I contemplated the significance of the dreams that I had had on this night, this thought came to me that the list on the pieces of paper reminded me of two, of two stone tablets. Uh, the list that the individual in the house gave me to go shopping. So, like the Ten Commandments, the law. The other two pieces of paper were yellow, which I didn't mention previously, the color of them. Um, represented being being split in two perhaps so I contemplated that and then I fell back asleep for about two more hours but I don't recall what else I had dreamed about so anyway I also had this distinct feeling that there was a lot going on within the uh, the dreams that I had when I had fallen back asleep and I felt as though I was really throughout the whole night actually like half asleep half awake like there was so much going on within my mind with these dreams and stuff so I should also note that when I woke up the second time I felt a very distinct feeling in the center of my forehead so this is when I had woken up the second time at 5 30 distinct feeling in the center of my forehead I've actually felt it many many times before like right here where the third uh, representing the third eye. So, let's see. Yeah, it's not the feeling of a headache, etc. Um, it's like pressure, sometimes a pulsing and like an ex like an expansion. Uh, at the same time, it's hard to explain. So anyway, it's a very st distinct feeling. So I had these dreams, and then I, when I'd finally woken up for the last time, I just laid there in bed contemplating the feeling um, of like this feeling in my forehead and, and just knowing the significance of it and I wasn't fearful at all. And as I'm reading these now, paper, something that's telling me Neville has meant, Neville Goddard has mentioned the symbolism of paper before in one of his lectures. I, I could be wrong, but that was a thought that was just coming to me. So I don't know the actual significant, the sim, if paper means anything. So I might look that up. Anyway, so those are the dreams that I had. Now, because the first and the second dream were, uh, were similar and involving paper, states in the Bible that uh, when uh, a dream is doubled, it is fixed by God. So this dream, the dream was doubled. Both dreams involved uh, paper and multiple, so the number two, so two stacks. So there's some significance there. I don't know exactly what it is yet. So anyway... All right, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you next time. Bye.